Hello, my name is Jeff. I'm a wizard. Welcome to my channel. Today's speaker card will be about coming out, coming out of the closet, or coming out to your partner that you want to break up, or coming out to your parents that you want children. Coming out. You're coming out, and I'm going to see if that's a good idea. I have some big pictures from... Um, instead of picking cards, we're going to pick dicks. <clears throat> I was manhandling these really badly. Okay. First choice. Uh, maybe not a good omen, but like, okay, it's the first choice. Pick it if you like it. Uh, second choice is this uh, deck. I'm not going to say the names because I can barely read them usually. Just pick the one you like. This is uh, choice number two. Choice number three. Take me to your dealer. Choice number four. These amazing action comic cards, and we're gonna do five. Okay, this one, number five. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Choose the deck of cards that you like. These are all playing cards, but they have really nice imagery, most of them. And then we'll get to your reading and talk about coming out and stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, the timestamps will be in the description box, in the description box. So just click on the blue link and then you'll go straight to your uh, chosen deck. Okay, I will see you there. Bye. And hello. Group number one. Oh no, where are my things? Uh, I think over there. Stand by. So wants me to get this, so I'm going back. So that's here. <clears throat> okay, let's start over. Hello, group one. How are you doing? So that you can just see the cards. I don't know why I'm fumbling so much now. Mm -hmm. So take three. Hello, group one. It's just three or three, three. So we're gonna use that one. I guess. <clears throat> Let's get into your reading. <clears throat> so. Coming out, group one is coming out. I just got a message with the question, have you showered? Have you showered? Group one, I haven't. Hold on, sorry, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the bzz bzz so it doesn't bzz bzz while we do business. Hmm, that song is called Take Five. So again, group one, take a shower, take five, take a break, take a breather, get the feeling of urgency off you. That feeling of like, I have to do it now or just take five. Take five. Who is that song? Rubik? Dave, Dave Rubik? Mm. I'm gonna take a guess there. So these cards are. Well, um, think about this one. This is confirming what I'm saying. You're having a lot of worries about this. You're very anxious in your head. Yeah, you're just not feeling a lot of nerve. You're not feeling very gutsy. Um, 
And I even want to say chicken. Um, but not to make you feel bad, to just to just like uh, say how you're feeling, you know, like like you're not. Uh, this has got you really scared. So that's why you need to take a breather first, because if something feels this uncomfortable to do, guys, then maybe that's a sign. Maybe that's your intuition it's telling you something. Maybe you should address that internally first, you know, if, you're, if something is giving you so much anxiety or so much worries and making you so fearful, maybe address that first. Um, because that, that will be the energy that you take into your, I don't know why I'm shuffling here, um, madness. Yeah, I'm t again, it's the third sign, I'm reshuffling, I'm just... Resetting, reset, group one, just reset. Okay. Ten of swords. Mm. I'm getting that it's not over. You're in this mode, right? Nine of swords. So it's not ten of swords yet, yet you are reacting to the situation as if it were ten of swords. So if as if it were the worst possible outcome. You're already reacting to an outcome that you don't know it, that it is yet. So you're assuming the worst. Yep, same thing. You're not feeling it. You're not really feeling that go-getter spirit. No. I don't have to go into what it is about. They won't let me. Although... No, this is a breakup for sure or something. Or this is saying no, this is... Um... Ooh, or maybe... No. I mean, wait, hold on. So, all these cards are, are... Okay, I'm just gonna talk out loud. So, this is the, the happy ending, but then gone wrong. So, or um, um, broken family or uh, unhappy ending in a relationship. This I'm seeing as somebody giving a rose saying like, this is the marriage card or the divorce card. So giving this rose with black rose would say I'm breaking up with you. The eight of wands upside down, that slowing down of energy that is, um, you know, like, uh, Cutting the flow of something or stopping. Then I get the card for leaving out in the cold or uh, being left out. Then I get the right idea. Okay, I'm gonna think about this. See you later. All right, I'm back, group one. I did get the answer, <laughs> answers that I was looking for. I also showered meanwhile, so. I'm following you, guys. Um, what this is about is being scared, like chicken, because, um, and I came to this explanation when I was talking to a friend and we just sort of were asking the question, is coming out as gay being any different than coming out as anything else to anyone? Mm, and maybe that there is more of a, you know, like problem of shame there. Um, maybe, but but the, the point was like, not really, because when you're afraid to come out just about something, you are afraid inherently that uh, people will leave you, people will dump you, people make will make you an outcast, and they won't want to play with you anymore. Uh, sit down. Um, they don't want to see you anymore, um, they'll leave you. And because of an idea, sort of, you know, like... Um, that's the weird thing, that people would... You were afraid that people would leave you because of... an idea they have about something that you don't want to be associated with or something, you know? But that's the main gist here, and that's like... Uh, counting with these cards, you're just scared of people pushing you away. You getting um, <coughs> locked out, 
somebody leaving you, um, you have to see. And then I was done this card, this, this Ace of Swords, because you can't really see if it's up or down. It's a Schrodinger's Ace of Swords. Um, and I, I saw it as this, like, you know, if this is right, if people, if you come out and people leave you uh, and they don't want to be associated with you anymore because of this idea uh, they have, you know, suddenly they don't see you anymore. They make assumptions um, or put negative connotations on you because of this thing that, you know, like um, it's, it's ideology. So if you have people who would leave you for that, then you have to think if you want people like that, if you want friends like that, if you want family like that, that would dump you for speaking your truth, for saying who you are or what you want, you know? Um, everybody wants everybody to be honest, you know? Um, Billy Joel, most of all. Um, so we owe them that. We owe other people our honesty, I think, in the end. And we have to give people a chance to be them, you know? We're asking them to accept us, so then we have to also accept who they are and give them a chance to react. Don't fill it in in your head. Don't say they'll probably think this, they'll probably think that. No, give them a chance to actually um, react, you know, and show themselves for who they are. Uh, hmm, I had more there, but it's gone. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. You don't have to be so afraid because you're afraid of what already is. And if this is not the right idea, if people will not leave you for this or they will not make you an outcast, then you're worrying over nothing. But you you need to know what you're dealing with, who, who your friends are and who, who is not and who will accept you and who you need people around you that you can be open and honest with about the things that are important to you. Okay, You shouldn't be lying. So give people honesty. Um, and don't be so scared of that, because if, if the truth... The truth will set you free, but first it will piss you off. You know, put some lemon. Okay, that's it, group one. Just gonna leave it at that. General. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> and please like, share, subscribe. There's a PayPal link, just like here. Say hello. Uh, I wouldn't mind. And see you around another time. Alright. Group two. Hey. Hey. Hello. Oh yeah, these cards. Cool. Okay. Group two. What do you need to know about coming out? Coming out. Now I'm in the closet too. Now I'm in the closet. Now I'm in the closet too. Damn, R. Kelly just got like serious uh, um, time because of trafficking or something. I saw this on Nine Gags. So I don't know what my sources are. <clears throat> that up to date. Um, who still sits? Who still goes to 4chan? By the way, I saw a video about that today. 4chan. Never been there. Scary place. Mm, incels. Apparently. I'm liking your cards. Coming out. I'm coming out. So we've got this uh, Kikaboo guy here. Let's go over. Hello. Hello. Um, then this nine of grapes, I guess. Sorts. Upside down. 
there's an ace of pentacles, there's a rhombus. I just learned that word, it means to spin around from Greek. I think. And then this dice. Ten of hearts. Rolling the dice. Coming out. Mm -hmm. What is this card saying? So I'm getting that you want that, that, that this is a group that wants to come out to about their positive feelings to somebody saying, Hey, I like you. I'm seeing you. Hello. You see this, you see this person as, well, I want to say satisfaction. These are clovers, but I'm just seeing like a lot of fruit. Supposed to be nightmare. So, so, what is this card you're doing here? Oh, huh. so I got also this card as a queen of hearts upside down. Hmm. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting the story here. So you're seeing somebody through the through the people. You're spying somebody. Uh, you like it. You want to come out with that. You kind of want to take your shot, but um, you don't see it as a very big shot. See how small this thing is? You see like you only have a really small shot and it would be a, a chance. It's, it's, it's like you have this approach of like, what, I, what do I have to lose? What do I have to lose? Or maybe, yeah. Maybe you're oscillating between that. Like you say, like, I don't have a big chance, but what do I have to lose? Um, but that's not taking yourself very seriously, so I don't think that's feeling right. And then I have this queen of swords upside. Uh, so you're being a bitch? Bitchy? Bitchiness? So I got, I got the same with this card, like upside down. It's like the other person is... Uh, Making you doubt yourself, maybe. First thing I wanted to say was maybe you're not very open about your feelings. You kind of minimize them, uh, or um, you know, because like, oh, I don't have a chance. So what does it matter how much I feel or how much I like this person? Let's not let's not show that too much, because then we would uh, possibly look like a fool. You know, if I show this person how much I care and then they like whatever. That would really hurt. Uh, so that's why this person gives you so much anxiety. At the same time, you see so much fulfillment and satisfaction. But the fact that it that it does that gives you also anxiety because it's like um, you know, if you go for that, you could you could hurt uh, to lose that. But then when when I'm saying that, there's that this illogical way of thinking. Because um, if you do something, do it right, you know? If you see somebody really as all that, and they cause emotions inside of you, then why are you then not going for it with all that, you know? Because why would you then treat it as a... Why would you, you then pretend it's not that important because you don't think the opportunity is that big. So you're closing yourself off for feeling excitement or taking this seriously, taking this person seriously. You're trying not to, you're trying to um, hide it away. And I think you're coming across as very bitchy. I think you're the bitch. Yeah. Because you're instead of actually going for this person or making a solid effort or just you know, taking a real chance and, uh, I don't know, seeing where, where it goes. Because for you, it is important. I think that's where, you, where you're going wrong. It's like you're thinking of the possible rejection you can get or feeling bad for going for something you want and then getting rejected. So meaning that you then can't have it. So that's all wrong. It's like you owe it to yourself to give yourself the best possible things you can get. 
So if you see something that does, that makes you so excited, then just for you, like go try and get it. You know, um, you never know. This is an assumption you have. Um, rolling these dice. Uh, it's also like okay when you start dating this person because you think wow well, they'll never be that interested in me they'll probably leave me they'll probably see hotter people that they'll want so I am probably just a fling for them you don't put in the real commitment that you would otherwise and then you're giving off the roughs it's the wrong signals then you're showing somebody I'm not that interested I don't care um yeah. I'm not going to chase after you because you have to chase after me. Otherwise, like, I'll feel stupid. See, like that weird, weird, dumb things you're thinking. Stop it. Um, if you like somebody, then show that. Put in the effort. If they like you back, you'll notice. If they don't, trust me, you will not feel sorry for having done this. You know, okay? You're going to feel a lot stronger and more confident because you are going for what you want. You're not settling anymore. And if you, you see something that you like, you go for it, okay? And you're gonna get rejections, okay? Everybody does, everybody does. Like hot people and not so hot people get equal amount of rejections, I swear to you, there's no difference. People think that, oh, if I look like that, if I look like that, then probably people would be nicer to me and I would get so much more better response and, and, and um, everything would be so much easier. Nope, nope. Same difficulty, people are as shitty to those people as they are to you. And you assuming that these people, or that, that when you put people above you and think that they get better treatment, that they get a better life, that they have much more attention and much more, it comes easier to them, is really wrong. Because you are, um, it's, it's just not, then you're not recognizing in that other person yourself. And you're making a big mistake because probably that person is just as lonely as you are and feels just as much frustration with getting somebody nice as you are. You're not even seeing that you can be equal. You're just seeing them in this whole other world that doesn't exist. Trust me. Um, try to see yourself more as the same and not so different. Because you're seeing yourself as different as the other person because of criteria that you are using. You could just be using other criteria and you don't know for the other person. Stop thinking that you know what they will think. And you'll, you'll, you also need to learn that you need to show yourself to be seen and for this person to get, to get a chance to like you. Because if he's always peeping behind this, um, you know, like window, not really showing yourself or maybe this is sort of communication but then very lackluster sort of not really asking somebody out not really showing more interest keeping it very shallow not putting in too much effort not chasing after somebody or not trying you know, trying not to do that so you're, you're not communicating uh you're doing the bare minimum just to sort of Test the waters. Nothing on it. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work because um, then you're just then you're being then you're kind of being a douchebag, or or um, you're um, you're doing the self-fulfilling prophecy because then you're not putting in effort and then hoping that this person that you already think will not be interested would come run after you. Um, you're trying to play play cool, you know, like those things. Yeah, you need to come. You need to come clean with your feelings for yourself. Come out to yourself. Say, "Oh my God, I want this," and it feels frustrating because I don't have no idea how to get that person. I don't think I have a big shot, but I do feel these things, and I do like them, and I do want them. Come out to yourself, and then say, "You know what? I'm gonna try to." Uh, Get that person, send them another text, be a little bit more concrete, ask them questions, ask them to go out, ask them if they would like to chill. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
the eighth of today is this. Um, this fast action, nimble, having options. Um, I don't know what this means. I was first thinking like adaptability or it's going to happen fast. If you just show yourself. No, it's reiterating the point that I said. It's like, look, there are many criteria that make up a person and that people look at. Okay. You have many facets to yourself. You have eight facets to yourself, not just one. Your appearance is one. Your intelligence is one. Your humor is one. Your character is one. Um, the way you act, the way you move, you can dance. Uh, if you like the same stuff, you don't know what that other person is looking for or not. So you don't, you have no say over what other people like or don't like. So again, like even what you would think are the hottest people would come, a, come across people that look at them and like, no, not my cup of tea. Uh, there's no there's no set of rules that apply to everybody nope 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 we're all freaky and we all like freaky things okay group two that was it thank you hmm. Nice. Hmm. group three coming out are we me to your dealer. Oh. <laughs> Could be about good or about love. Like your heart is needing a fix. Um, these three cards speak to me. Okay. So I have this. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. For sure, he's high, right? He's smoking pot. He's blazing. He's trying stuff. He's trying stuff. Uh, invisible not like problems you're making your own head. And then a decision. Uh, uh, uh. Stop. Yeah. Oh, and another two. It's all about you. Two, two. Two, two, two. Make a decision, don't be so defensive. The pro the you're seeing a lot of problems or you're worried about a lot of stuff that that's actually not there. The more you postpone this decision, the more it anxious you become. You just need to make the decision and stop being so closed or defensive or um, bracing for impact, you know, like being scared. Um, you're, you're okay. It's okay to, it's okay to try. It's okay to do something. It's okay just to talk about it. Interesting. So what can we tell me about this check? Uh, same thing. Don't defend your position. Don't defend yourself. That's an interesting one. When you go out and tell people about yourself or what you like or what you do, tell them. Don't ask their opinion or approval. Tell them, hey, my name is Jeff and I smoke pot. It's a decision I make. I'm open about it. I'm not going to explain why or defend why or give you my reasonings or say it's good or bad or go into argument about it. No, I'm just telling you this is information. Um, I want to share this. Goodbye. Something like that? Balance. You get, you get what you give. Uh, 
Oh, um, what I got was you people are more like you than you think. It's like when you show your true self or when you're more open about this, it's you're gonna get just as many people that are like, oh yeah, me too. Um, and I get it, or like, yeah, I like it. And other people, they're like, no, it's not for me. Never done. It. But you're gonna get more recognition than you think. You think you're gonna be the weird one, the junkie, or the the pot smoker? No. You're gonna tell this to people, and 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 half of the people are gonna be like, yeah, me too. Okay. Or whatever. You're not alone. You're not alone. But why would we be upset now? Oh, no, you need to come out about these things because you're isolated right now, because you keep this side of yourself hidden. And I don't know what it is, guys, like it could be drugs, could be pot smoking, could just be your hobbies uh, that you think people would think they are weird, you know, um, making YouTube videos with car greetings. So you hide that a little bit, but it, it, it makes you lonely, it cuts you off, you're not seeing all the other... You're not connecting to the world because you're not showing, because you're not coming out. You're in the closet too. <clears throat> so you feel it's the same thing. Right now you feel left out, like you're the weird one, the, the damaged one, the problem one, and you're on your own a lot now. And that's why it's important for you to come out about certain things or be more forthright and speak up and don't be so ashamed and realize that like you're not weird you know if you do behavior millions of people are doing the same behavior okay none of us are that unique that our behavior is that weird and freaky and fucked up and up against you no if you can you can be put money on this if you just did something stupid millions of people have done it before if you are in trouble and and, and cause problems for yourself you can you're not alone like all these people around you are doing the same thing every time you find yourself in a position just know that there are people doing the exact same thing that you are you're never alone in this so don't give yourself that much credit and also don't paint yourself so black you know it's like uh, uh, say if you're doing drugs and you can't stop well then you can bet your bottom dollar that 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 there's a lot of people in the world that are just doing the same thing and you're actually having a normal reaction to something and you're not weird, you're not that far off, you know? You don't have to feel so alone. Uh, you can be freaks with the rest of the world. Isn't that nice? Yeah, alien landing. I see this alien landing, like coming down from his spacecraft. Saying like, hey, I'm here. And, and then people see the real you also. Then you can see your uniqueness more because you are connecting to the rest of the world. Because then people see you and they can see you. Be confident, be confident. See, she's also smoking pot. Just, this is funny, this is the jack, this is the... the the young energy and then this is the the step up it's like you know step into it don't be so such a child don't be such naive you're not that that's also what scott is saying you know come out with this because you're not trying something this is not something that's like oh i don't know what this is no this is something that you like that you feel passionate about that you have made a choice for or that you just do when it's a part of you so then step up into this queen position and say like this is who i am um I am who I am. I am my own special creation. Oh, this is the end of the reading because this card doesn't say anything more. Uh, all I saw was like, look, these two UFOs, UFOs are meeting and all these other UFOs in the background. You're not the only alien in this party, okay? And also what I want to say is like, step up into this, be open about this, speak up because there are other hot aliens that want to meet you. That's what I got. So there are hot people waiting for you to do the same things that you do. Isn't that fun? 
you don't have to like meet somebody and then see that you're radically different and hope that they accept these weird parts of you. No, to find people that just understand it. Other journeys. Ah, uh, should I take a little breaky break? Yeah, zero. Group four. <coughs> group, group, group four. Ugh. It's late. I want to go to bed. Let me finish this so I can sleep. It's really sleep peacefully. Mm. You want to sleep peacefully? You want to sleep at ease? No. It's weighing on you. <laughs> I feel like that little trumpet is accenting my sentences. The link tension there. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> what action cards? Oh, is this Indian? I don't get this card, guys. I don't get this card. I just don't want to see it. I don't want, I mean, obviously somebody's being held captive. But this Indian little dude. Just, it's, it's like, and I... I don't know. I'm very frustrated with it. <clears throat> Here it is. There it is. Uh, so, this is okay. What do we see on the picture? Here? Okay. Show you. This lady is being snatched. Uh, but in this case, the lady has already been snatched. So, somebody's already been caught. Somebody's already been caught? It's already happened? I just want to, first I want to say the decision has already been made, so it's like you're not really you're just informing people maybe. You're already caught. You're already hooked. It's catchy. Um, again, you just, this is more coming out of like, I'm informing people of the decisions I've made and the facts that are something. <sighs> Fighting, arguing, rebuttaling. What a weird card. I've never seen that before. What is that man doing? I don't know. He's fighting to be, be free? Is that the man that's here? Check. Fighting to be free? I just want to be free, free. It's funny because again I got this card with this bondage thing uh, coming up. Mm. Somebody holding on to this person in ropes. And then I have this ace of pentacles, Superman. I always see kind of a police car in this. Something about being free. You just want to be free. You freed yourself from something, but um, or you fight, fought. You want to fight for that. You want to go for it, but then there's this woman holding on, or you know, what well, this music? Action though, action though, dudes, and this is action. Um. And then there's somebody, somebody to the rescue, for some reason. Whoa, okay guys, so I, a bit of a dark twist maybe. But I got with this card is, um, you're going into a situation where you are going to maybe have a fight with somebody. But you're stand, you want to stand up for yourself. You want to stand up for yourself and I think maybe you want to be free. You already made this decision that you want to be free from a relationship, I think maybe. You're missing the passion, you're missing the drive, you feel trapped. Um, then make sense of this woman. Uh, you don't want to be with this woman anymore. <laughs> this crazy woman that's hanging on you here and that's, that's crazy there. Now I got this in my head, it's 
Please go. Remember, you can always call the police when things get out of hand or you don't worry for things to get out of hand. Just call the police or something. That's what I got. Or help is on the way. Um, but then, then that was just a, a small thought I had. Just take that, you know, like, um, I don't know, for whoever it applies. But then I also get, you just want to get out of here as fast as can because there's opportunity somewhere else and this is trapping you. You want to be free. So you, you're going into the confrontation with this person to, because you see opportunity somewhere else and now I'm just getting, you want to leave a relationship because you want to move. I've got to move. But you're hogging her, regarding her. What's that? Look at your girl. She's sexy. So you want to come out that you want to go away, that you don't, that you feel trapped in a situation, that you're unhappy in a situation. Um, yeah, I'm getting all kinds of things, but then, because then my brain went back to the, I did really see in the cards that, that this is sort of, uh, you really have to, uh, Take a stance here, or something. You really have to stand up for yourself to get yourself free. Should I take some more? I feel like I should take some more. Oop, one fell on the floor. Oh, both. It's um, interesting. Oh, very easy. <clears throat> very easy in this situation, as advice. So, guys, um, just communicate. Just go for it. Don't plan too much. Don't be too tactical in this. Don't play chess. Don't try to think in advance what the person will say. Just communicate. Say, this is where I am. And then just go into the conversation. You know what I mean? Um, that will give you the best results. And also you need to, to be open for the other person's reaction. Don't try to anticipate. Don't try to think, oh, she'll they, or, hey, he'll say that or he'll say this or... Or that'll be their argument and I'll have to think of counter arguments right now. No, no, no. Just go, go into the conversation and just say very simply, I don't want to be here anymore. Or uh, this is, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to go. There's better. Don't, don't tell people there is better. Just say you don't want to be here because that's the, that's the point you're getting across. Not that I found better than you. It's like I'm unhappy here, I think. And then boundaries, yeah, just, oh my, how cool is this? These cards, like the, the Jack, the Queen, and the King of Swords. Um, yeah, communicate, boundaries. Stand up for yourself, boundaries. Don't be too, don't be too uh, serious in this, or, or be too well thought out, or take this too... Don't play chess. Just be simple. This is what I want. These are my boundaries. I don't have a plan. Really, you know, like I'm, I don't have an evil plan to to do this or this, or I don't have much more. Um, I, I, there's no other uh, goals that I'm trying to get out of this, other than I know I'm. I don't want this or I, I do want that, you know, like keep it simple, say what you know and don't feel the need to explain more because you have a right to ask what you want and you have a right to want what you want and you have a right to feel what you feel and you have a right to feel unhappy in a situation and then to um, choose not to be in that situation anymore. I just feel I need to say that. I don't know, this was all kinds of places, this reading. This is at the bottom of the deck, so like five of cups, disappointment, um, avoiding disappointment, um, not accepting it, or maybe um, you you're you don't want to ex you don't want to hurt the other person. You don't, you feel that they'll be disappointed, and well, yeah, maybe. 
but that's never been a good reason to stay in, in, in something. You need to be there because you want to be, not because you don't want to hurt the other person's feelings or you don't want to uh, be a bad person. You don't want to be a bad person. You're being a bad person to yourself. You're going to be a bad person to any, everybody. And again, you're being a bad person when you're not telling the truth, when you're not showing yourself, when you're living a double life. Life, Because now this person thinks that, that you're okay, but actually you're not. And you're doing stuff to get that need filled. And then you're leaving a dub, leading a double life and you're lying to that person. And then if that ball rolls too far, then you're like, oh yeah, I... I forgot to tell you 20 years ago, I'm, I'm seeing other people. Then you're a bad person. So avoid that by just saying it. And, um, and that boundary card is really important. It's like you owe somebody an explanation maybe, um, and you give somebody the respect that you want to convince them or that you want to like, you know, uh, Give them an explanation, maybe. But you, you you don't owe anybody this. You know, it's everybody's right to change your mind or to feel how you feel. And I think the faster you're honest about it, the the less big of a hurdle it becomes. You know, if you say after two dates, well, I'm not feeling it, then yeah, okay, well, no, too shit, too bad. But if you say after uh, eight months of dating, um, I never felt it. Yeah. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Sticky, sticky. Look what you do. <sighs> Interesting, this contrast is like maybe the. This is the, the, the uncomfortableness. Is one person wants to defend what they. One person that maybe the person in the relationship wants to defend the relationship. They're proud of where they are or they like what they have. And another person feels left out in the cold. Or the other way around is one person is going to feel very left out in the cold or maybe dumped or uh, abandoned. You know, you know, uh, and while the other person seems like they're going off to, to live their better life. Because they're choosing, they're making a choice to be happy. And that choice means somebody else has to be unhappy. If you, if you, if you, if you choose to be happy and that makes somebody else unhappy, uh, I don't know. I've started that very confident. I felt like I feel like I've. I used to say something about that. Right? But that's just the truth. If, if me choosing to go and follow my happiness causes another person a lot of pain, then we would have been in this scenario sooner or later. Because would you, if you love me, would you really ask me to sacrifice happiness so you don't feel bad? Um, and the fact that me is going, needing, that me needing to separate from somebody to find my happiness means that that person has been a block to it. So there's fundamental flaws in expectation and, and com compatibility that that are just there, you know, like if you, if you say this or not, that's, that's the foundation of the relationship. It's, it's like me being my best self oh, uh, and wanting to do what I do uh, makes you feel bad. Well, then why are we here? Maybe, you know, is this comfort? But anyway, that's interesting. This is the tension line. Somebody leaving left on the cold, somebody wanting to level up or find your happiness or defend that be free be being free means then not being with the other person because the other person didn't make you feel free 
Um, it's a hard conversation, I'm not gonna lie. Don't use those words. Um, but, but maybe consider that you're in this scenario where this conversation is difficult because you have been making sacrifices along the way and then end up in a place you don't want to be. And I think you need to talk to the other person in a way that you both can understand where things started to slide. Not try to convince uh, or, or don't go into a, a tunnel where you become more estranged of each other. Actually, because you, you're, you're telling somebody else we're estranged or we're, we're not on the same page anymore, then you can talk and figure out where you uh, get where that you know where you get lost. Not to, to get your to get your back together, but to understand and and. The better you understand the other person or what they've been going through, how they saw things, I think the more easier you can accept it and see that it's not so personal, that it's not something the other person did or didn't do, that it's just the, the, the way the water is flowing. I don't know. Um, I think if the, the most pain comes from not understanding, um, because you're taking personal what somebody else is doing and, it, and usually it never is, it never is. Even when it is, it's not. Yeah, okay, and we're gonna go, <laughs> drum rolls. Uh, group four, I hope that makes sense. Uh, it was a reading. I bid you adieu. Hey, group five. <clears throat> Just shuffle your cards. Let's take some cards. About your coming up, come, coming up, come, 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 I guess I could see it as Nine of Swords here. Because they're all wearing swords. Mm. Okay, black. let's see what it comes to. This could mean a, a lot of things. What did I first think of? Nothing. I was just very annoyed with not getting the card. Or like, seeing the cards and like, oh yeah, they're those gray... grayish cards. Where, where all the signs look like... like butts. Hmm. So seven minutes. Like that. But they point the other direction here. It's very annoying. Okay, and these three cards. Okay, now we're getting some info. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Get this king. Hearts. And this queen. Hearts. They love each other. Now I'm getting this. Okay. Okay, five, five cups is disappointment. But I'm seeing it like this. So, like, let me go with my first instinct here. First, very first thought was you want to come out to a person, tell them you are want to commit to the relationship. You're very serious. You wanna go the extra mile. You wanna hold on. Um. <coughs> Sorry. You're feeling defensive. The other person is feeling defensive. So, let me take a look at these peoples. So this king is very serious. Okay, look, look, the king has this heart in front of his eyes. He's looking at love. He wants to commit, I think. 
So it doesn't mean if you're a man or a woman, it just means like you're the king energy, you want to take action, you want to take us to the next level. But then um, you're afraid to go for that be because you feel that the other person is not, you're afraid of disappointment. Because she's, she's the, she has the heart behind her. She's actually looking at the person. And this guy is looking at the heart. So one of them is more in love than the other, you could say. But I think it's just a different approach. I think they're both feeling this heart. Look, they both have it. The jazz is being jazzy. Yeah, but fits like sort of the reading because there's like fun in the air here. Um, and what I like about this card is this king has put his crown sort of behind him. So his 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 defenses are down. He's in love with this lady and and he wants to go for it because also he's sort of um, showing his softer side. He's putting his ego down a bit, you know? He's like uh, letting him... Uh, you know, like he's showing this, this other person like I am uh, willing to... Um, show myself to you. Like I'm willing to put, it, put in all that effort. And this other person is actually really interested in seeing that. But they're putting love more in the back. So they're first, I think they're seeing who this person is. But anyways, the coming out, I feel, is you being the king, I think. Um, wanting to go out, or could you be both? I mean, like, it could be difficult for either parties, you know, like the, the person that is afraid the other person will, won't be so interested. So they'll, they'll, um, won't fight for it because that's what I'm seeing the seven of wands is like uh, you know defending your treasure what you have defending maybe your marriage uh, and this is not defending it this is also upside down so it could be saying player energy mm. and disappointment Gosh, group five. Now I'm, I've never. Now I'm like. Now I'm just like, doubting everything. So that was the first story I told. It. Then I was thinking like, oh, maybe they, they're not having a good time, or oh, they're they're seeing other people, or one is more playery than the other. What does that to do with coming out? So my my initial idea was, you're afraid to commit to somebody. You're afraid to tell this. You're afraid to. You're afraid to fight for what you have. Let's say you have a good connection with somebody, you're afraid to, to risk it by taking it to the next level. By, uh, yeah, and then having to, now I get this last card that you, you, you're you afraid you will be like, sort of have your head on a platter, if that makes sense. Um, uh, greedy, be greedy. You don't want to be greedy. You don't want to, to go too fast with this person and then scare them off, you know? But you, I feel like you're this kid, you're very serious. But this other person is more like looking at the situation, soberly. And so you feel that, and I think you don't know how to come out to this person to just say like, I'm in love because you're afraid that it'll be too soon. Wow. Oh. Okay, I got these cards. It's like really funny. Look at this dopey fella here. Like, first of all, him. Uh, he's hugging his belly. Um, okay, I think what these cards are trying to say is like, don't be so afraid. Don't be so... You feel like this right at the moment. Not like a king. You feel like a little bit of a dopey man with a big heart. Like, and it's taking up... It's like way too big. It's weighing you down. It's like you you... Um, you have it. It's like something like you don't know what to do with it. It's a lot of excitement and a lot of love, maybe, or a lot of I want to go for it, but then then you feel um, not not so cool. But look, you have this vision, guys. Like you can see in this card what you want, but I see some like sort of a vision you have of a relationship or of a love 
that you want to have, maybe travel with somebody, uh, you have those dreams and you have to stand strong in them. You have to be able to stand on your own. That's what I got here. Like, don't be so afraid. If this person turns you down and doesn't accept your love, then they're not the right person for you. You deserve somebody that is willing to accept the love you give and step into that vision or try to see that vision with you. So if you have a person that is... Look, if, if they were are interested for in you for the long run or they, they, they have that big a heart for you too, then you coming out saying I'm in love with you can't have that bad an effect, you know, if they really like you. And if they don't and it scares them off and they're like, I don't know, then they're not the right person for you or it's not the right time. Because you have a lot of love to give and they don't want to receive it. So you're going to stay in that weird mismatch energy then and you have and you're going to sacrifice your vision then for somebody that is not sure of you while you are you while you're ready to go I'm ready to go um so even though you like this person a lot you just sort of have to give the, give it a chance and see if they're willing to take the next step with you you know because if, you, if you're ready um and be strong in your communication in this just say this is how i feel about you now you know and you will see then in their behavior and their actions and the consistency of the time and care they give to you if they mean business or not don't take people's words for this if the other way around too if you say to somebody listen to me very carefully if you say to somebody, hey, I love you, I'm really in love with you, I want us to go the extra mile, or I want us to be more, that still means nothing, okay? Then you, th that should be evident in your actions, in your uh, words, in how much time you spend with a person, how much care you give them, how much you want to give them. That should be evident. It shouldn't be when you tell this person I'm in love with you, that shouldn't be a new thing that they discover. That should already be there, you know? Like, and, and if you then tell somebody like, hey, I want to go for this with you, then show them with your actions, you know? Show them that you're working towards this or that you uh, put effort in the relationship because you want to see it grow. That's that's saying somebody I love you, not not the words. Words are empty. Um, I mean that no, not all. I mean not always. I just thought of that song of um, you give me nothing, oh, oh sweet nothing. So if they give you nothing, then don't stay there. You're just torturing yourself with. You can't control how other people feel, okay? So don't keep breaking your own heart by standing there, hoping that it will change, you know? Because it's already evident probably what you feel. And, and I think you just need to, if you feel like you want to know where the other person stands or if they want to go, like, you know, just communicate it. And don't expect much back, but then just see what happens? See how they behave. See how they how how they if they pick it up a notch or not. Don't add, don't wait for them to tell you I love you too, and then just expect that they'll be there. No, because people are very good at words, but not good at doing. Love is a doing word. By that song, Massive Attack, uh, Teardrop. Ah, I'm just gonna put that on. Uh, so good. Well, I like take away the cards. They flag me for this, I'll mute this section, so the magic will be lost, maybe. 
Не бело. So that's all you needed to know. I hope you liked the reading, like, share, subscribe, go to my PayPal, look around, press some buttons. <laughs> I hope it helps you around. Now I'm in the closet. Now I'm in the closet too.